Welcome to 2021. Today we are doing a what to eat in a day to lose weight, um, which include easy habits to get your dream body. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and let's jump in. Today is going to be a very intuitive day of eating. Typically on my channel, I do a lot of meal plans and um, before quarantine and when I was going to work, I did a lot of meal plans. However, uh, most of the time, especially recently, I eat intuitively, which just means that I eat according to my hunger level and the foods that I'm more in the mood for. Um, but while still following along with the guidelines that I put in this video right here, my eating for fat loss video. So if you have not seen it and you don't know a whole lot about nutrition or you want to learn more about why what you eat either causes weight loss or weight gain, then you need to go check out that video because it explains a lot of information that we'll be touching on today. Um, and it's just gonna be our guide for how we're gonna eat today in order to have a healthy weight and just a healthy body in general. So on top of those guidelines that we're gonna be following, the first habit that I recommend you or anyone implement is to focus on your water content, like how much you're drinking in a day. And how I developed this, how I grew a love for water, because I didn't always love water, I didn't always wanna drink it. Um, every single morning, I would have water, hot water with lemon. This is like warm water with lemon. Um, but I would have 12 ounces in a mug. So right now I'm drinking it in a glass, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but um, I had a mug's worth, which measured out to 12 ounces. And I would drink that every morning without fail um, in order to develop the habit of drinking water and craving water. From there, once I got that habit down, I bumped up my water in the morning to 20 ounces. And then I started incorporating it more throughout the day. So like 20 ounces before breakfast, 20 ounces before lunch, 20 ounces before dinner. And then, then I just had the habit. It, just, it took a while, but eventually I got to the point where I loved water and now I put water first, um, even over food, even over like healthy things that you would typically, you know, consider healthy and eat like whole foods. Our body is mostly water and water helps so many different functions in your body. One of them is to de-bloat, so like get in a flatter tummy, get your digestion in order. Your skin, your hair, like everything, water is just so, so, so important. You need it. So developing the habit of drinking water should be a priority of yours. And now I love it. You may see all of these foods and go like, I can't eat that way. I can't eat healthy to that level or drink that much water. Um, and the thing is that you can, it's just you either don't want to and you don't want to put in the effort to get to the point where you love it and crave those types of foods because how consistent you are in your eating habits will determine what you crave. So the more junk food that you eat, the more you're gonna crave junk food. The more whole foods you eat, the more whole foods you crave. It's just that your taste buds have been accustomed to really terrible addictive food. And we're trying to get it back to the real food that your body needs to make you healthy and lose weight. On that note though, I highly recommend of everything that I talk about today or in my fat loss video, I highly recommend only implementing one, maybe two new habits at a time until you've actually like solidified, got that habit down. Um, because once you, if you overload your body with all of these new things that you're just not that into and you're really trying to work toward building healthier habits, it's just gonna be super overwhelming. You're gonna wanna give up. And at the end of the day, it's gonna feel like a crash diet that you just do for 30 days and then you go back to what you were doing, you know? Um, and we're trying to avoid crash dieting. We're working on habits and lifestyle changes for the long term. In order to do that, it is so much easier to pick one or two habits to put your focus on, put your priority on, and then move on to the other things that you need to incorporate because there's just not enough time in the day to learn um, all this new stuff, learn what you like, what you don't like. So yeah, 
just pick one or two. And I would recommend your first one, if you don't already have the habit, should be water. So now let's jump into breakfast and we are gonna start our little tally and analysis of just all the foods that I'm eating today. And oh. so let's go. For breakfast, I just made some steel cut oats. I did a mix of obviously steel cut oats with water and then also this Chobani oat milk, which is my new favorite oat milk. Then I'm just gonna mix in some flax seed. That'll thicken it up a little bit too. So I over added the liquid a bit because I don't like really dry oats. And then I'm gonna just add in some red raspberries. These are just frozen. I kind of like the raspberries to cool the oats down a bit because sometimes it's just way too toasty for me to eat right away. But that is gonna thaw a little bit and then I'm gonna serve it up. And then adding in a banana for some natural sweetness on top of the raspberries. Nothing super fancy or special looking about this thing, you know? Add in a little bit more oat milk. And then I'm also just gonna add in some pumpkin pie spice. I make my portion sizes based on what I think I want to eat. And then if it ends up being too much, um, I simply just save it. Another habit that you should be implementing is whole foods are first. Those are number one and processed foods are second. And then also getting into supplements, which are added vitamins, minerals, that's also second slash third. We want to put whole foods first because whole foods are the most potent form of our vitamins and minerals, which I talk about in the eating for fat loss video and how they balance hormones, aid in weight loss, like, and it's just so important to eat that through whole foods because not only are you getting the vitamins and minerals that balance your hormones and aid in weight loss, but you're also getting water content, fiber content, your digestion is better when you eat whole foods. Just all around whole foods are just like, it's like a magic ingredient that already exists, but people choose to not eat for some reason. So I have a little formula for how to get most of your vitamins and minerals through whole foods first, and then going in and supplementing and consuming fortified processed foods to make sure that you get absolutely everything that you need in a day to have a healthy body and a healthy weight and lose weight, of course. And this is that formula. So on the left, we have our whole food categories, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, grains, and beans slash legumes. And then we have our processed food category that's healthy and less healthy. So in the whole food category, we want roughly 80% of our food to come from here. And in the processed foods category, we want about 80% of processed foods to be healthy processed food and 20% less healthy. So we still just wanna include that option just because you know we're living life, okay? And then when it comes to fruits and vegetables on the right-hand side, you're gonna see fruit, veggies, uh, the rainbow colors. So we got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. I just put those numbers there because we wanna at least meet one of each of those except for green, we want at least three. And then on the whole foods side, all of the categories, we want at least one in each category. So that's how we're gonna do this here. So let's analyze breakfast. We hit our grains with our oats. We got a seed with the flax meal. We got a red fruit with the raspberries, a yellow banana, fortified plant milk. I don't count spices. Just use those as much as you want. And then I got yellow lemon because I pretty much had a full lemon with my water this morning. I'm drinking some amino acids and every time I turn it, it's amino acids and energy. So it's a pre-workout mix with amino acids. This is what I would consider junk of junk of processed foods. I am not anti-occasionally consuming things like this. I would ideally like to find a better pre-workout. I've tried a number of pre-workouts. I've tried a lot of natural ones. Um, and so far, Women's Best is not only the best tasting, but also gives me such good energy for my workouts. And so that's kind of why in my fat loss video, I'm just gonna reference my fat loss video all the time. But in my fat loss video, I do like an 80-20 rule when it comes to whole foods and processed foods. And that's why I was saying like whole foods come first. Doesn't mean that 
you can't eat processed foods in the middle of the day or that you have to like wait to the end of the day until you've met all of your whole food requirements. It's just paying attention, knowing, you know, kind of like when I made my breakfast, it's like, I know that most of those things are whole foods except for the milk. That's a fortified processed food. Um, also right now, I'm gonna eat this good green snack by Newsis. I'm an affiliate with them. You can get 15% off all of their products and you can use my code Jacqueline Wood. You can order as many times as you want, use that discount as many times as you want. This again is like a processed food, but this would be a healthy processed food. Like this is like half of your day's worth of vitamins and minerals, but um, they use a lot of natural ingredients plus um, some added vitamins and minerals to make it super nutritionally complete. Um, and I always like to have a little tiny snack right before I work out. Did I say I was working out? I don't know if I said I was working out, but I'm working out. I'm actually going to film a couple workouts right now and then go take my dogs out again. So they have protein powders and bars and protein bars as well. This is not for you. I don't love all of their stuff, to be completely honest. Their protein bars, I have bought a couple times. They're just really not that good. They're very dry, pretty flavorless. But I've gotten them and I eat them because it's just convenient and easy. The protein powders are amazing. These are amazing. Like I'm addicted to these things. I just think that they could do better on their protein bars for sure. But these bars, oh, I've been eating like one every single day. But the wonderful thing about this too is that because it is a multivitamin bar, it's again covering my bases that I'm not gonna get through some of the whole foods that I'm eating throughout today. Yeah, I'll stop eating this for now. But it's a kind of a nice, like, yeah, cover your bases and then. I love you. It's not for you, okay? I'll give you some more food later. Um, it's just a perfect snack for, like, just when you're hungry, on the go, and or you're just not, you know you're not going to eat that great in a day. And this is going to help you feel more satisfied and help curb your junk food cravings because one of the wonderful things about vitamins and minerals is that, when you get a sufficient amount of your vitamins and minerals, you actually are satiated. Um, that's not the only thing that satiates you, but vitamins and minerals help you not crave junk foods because your body is getting what it needs so it doesn't feel deprived. And that means you're not going to be going out and craving a bunch of junk food to fulfill nutrients that you need. Because um, junk food sometimes still has some valuable nutrients in there because they fortify it with nutrients or they just provide something that's going to satisfy you really quick like say potato chips i love potato chips i eat potato chips but it's like fat salt uh, and carbs and those are very satiating ingredients but if you get your nutrients first you're less likely going to crave those things. And that can taper out over time. So if you are very addicted to junk food and you start implementing these habits and you're like, wait, my junk food cravings are not going away, it tapers out over time. You have to be consistent. That is habit number, I don't know. We're not gonna really count the numbers, but that is another thing is just to be consistent and know that you can mess up and you just jump right back into it. I kind of want to talk more about that in a little bit. This is a little going on a little too long and I need to go film my workouts right now for you guys. I'm going to check this and get to working out. For lunch, I decided I'm gonna keep it a little small and very simple because I already know what I wanna have for dinner. Dinner is gonna be a little bit longer to make. I don't know, I just don't feel like making anything because I gotta take the dogs out and blah, blah, blah. I know this is not like a typical lunch. It's not super hearty, but this is what I'm in the mood for and I just pay attention to what I'm in the mood for. So um, I've got a couple kiwi, an apple, some peanut butter. Yum. I already poured some milk in here. This time I did vanilla Chobani. It's a bit sweeter, but in any case. As I talk about plant milks that have usually B12, vitamin D, uh, calcium and all that stuff, they do add calcium in here. 
yeah, so they do add calcium in here, but typically, I'm actually surprised. I should have known. I knew that. Say, for example, Oatly. I have so many oat milks because, or just milks in general, because I use so much. It's just like so versatile. I use it all the time. Put it in my coffee, cereal, oatmeal, um, my smoothies. Um, hang on before I get yelled at. So this they add in B12. So I'm actually surprised that Chobani doesn't add B12 in. Anyway, dang, Chobani used to add B12. See, I'm learning something new as I film. Okay. What a disappointment. That's how I get most of my B12. Okay, and then I'm adding in this vanilla matcha. I'm gonna do two scoops. Again, you can get 15% off with my discount code, Jacqueline Wood. I will put a link down below in the description. Alrighty, and there it is. And now I'm gonna enjoy my lunch, take the dogs out, and I'll be back for dinner. Mmm. Mmm. So, typically my favorite flavors are Vanilla and chocolate in Newsist. Berry Majda. What a good combination. I haven't made this combo before. It's just what I just thought I'd try it. I needed my blue and purple fruits slash vegetables, but really just the fruits. Wow, that's a good combo. So from here on out, I'm just going to show you a quick tally of how each little meal combination turns out and how this fills up my categories. And this is also down below in the description with a little bit more detail. So you can check that out down below. This is a Beyond Sausage. I cut it into little circles. I cut up some sweet potatoes, celery, bok choy, mushrooms. I bought these pre-cut so they look really dried out and gross um and then tomatoes back here and that's it that's what's going in our soup and then we're gonna top it off with these beautiful green things avocado oh uh green onion lime back here is some cilantro and then uh, basil lime and lemon just goes amazing in soups i don't know what it is it just makes soup taste so good i love it i pick these ingredients based on my guidelines and also based on just the foods that i like to eat it's very intuitive it's still very intuitive i'm not following a recipe i'm just like soup sounds great because it's cold and i like a hearty meal with you know the sweet potatoes and the Beyond Sausage and avocado is satisfying and fatty, like good healthy fats. Um, I'm gonna cook it up and I'll show you what it looks like. One other thing that I have quite often is kombucha. Now there's a lot of Evidence to suggest that eating fermented foods is really good for your gut. I personally don't know everything there is to know behind it, but I do say this stuff is dang delicious. Kombucha is incredibly addicting. I don't know what it is. It's like better than soda, better than any type of like alcoholic beverage. Like this is my drink um if you if you bought me a kombucha that would make my day i love it so much but i'm gonna save this to have it with dinner i love kombucha with dinner with lunch for a snack the soup is done it's very basic looking right now however we're gonna put all of our toppings on it and it's gonna be pretty so i cooked up the beyond sausage it's a hot italian beyond sausage i haven't added that in yet Two other things that I added to my soup, minced garlic, I forgot I wanted that in my soup, and then also some minced onion. I would probably preferred onion powder, but this is just what I have here. The soup itself without the Beyond Sausage is on the blander side, but then when you add the sausage and the lime and the toppings, 
but I did a little taste test and the Beyond Sausage just kicks it up a notch because it's the hot Italian. It's got all the yummy, delicious spices in there. So I'm gonna make a second bowl and then put the rest of the toppings on here, but I'm gonna eat this first, even though there's like no grains or beans in it. Um, the sausage, the avocado, and the sweet potatoes just make it very, very satisfying. And hands down would make this again. I wanna, maybe I'll make this into like a recipe, but I'll have to make it again and measure things out. Today was a very good productive day. So I'm ready to eat dinner, shower up, get ready for bed, do some editing, and then finally go to sleep. And here is our final tally with all of dinner included. So all the little pink highlights are everything from dinner filling in. And so we've hit every category now, at least the minimum requirements. And so it may not be perfect. I didn't calculate out my nutrition for this plan because again, it was intuitive. This is how I always eat whenever I build meal plans around this formula. I almost always hit 100% of my nutrient targets. And so that's why I love this system. Again, go watch that fat loss video. If you have not seen it, all of this will be explained in much greater detail if you go watch that video. To recap, here is a little list of habits that you can screenshot. Again, I recommend only building one or two habits at a time, but these are my top habit recommendations in order to Get to a point where you've lost all of the weight that you need to lose to be at a healthy weight and then be able to manage it from there on out with ease. And again, only pick one or two to start and build up on top of that once you've got your habits down. And I really want to drive home that you should focus on what you can have rather than focusing on what you're giving up. So if you're giving up a ton of processed foods, junk foods, don't think about all those foods that you can't have anymore because you can still have them in moderation, but start thinking about all of the wonderful whole foods that you can can have in abundance, um, eat as much as you want to feel satisfied of whole foods in every single food category. And lastly, you can only fail if you give up. These habits take time to develop and practice and you're going to feel like you're failing if you mess up or slip up or don't eat perfectly one day, but that's life. You're always going to have to deal with that. So you're just always got to keep practicing and improving and you will get there. And if you need a little more strict guidance, I actually have a free workout plan on my website. It looks a little like this, and I will put a link down below in the description for you so you can go and get your free workout guide.